three, two, one. Welcome as the plot thickens. You guys, if you haven't uh, subscribed, I appreciate it. If you do that now, hit the like button also. And if you would, hit the bell there when the uh, subscription comes up. I'd appreciate that. That way you know instantly when my videos come out. If you would share this video, also comment on this video. Did Biden lie or not? Look, so we get into this video and, uh, you know, this is a common occurrence for a president to lie. Now, whether they're called out on that lie or if it's a big enough lie that is surrounded in controversy or if it's just an exaggeration or whatever the fact. I mean, it could be an all outright lie in that matter. But so as it goes down and I'm not too caught up on this. Uh, you know, a lot of times I think Trump is is uh, caught up in himself. He's very uh, egotistical. But, you know, whatever you may think of him, I don't know. I mean, things were better under Trump than they are now as far as uh, financially, um, you know, and the rest of it. But uh, whatever you feel about Trump, I, I think that um, he is what he is, right? I mean... There, there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, if you look at Biden, obviously, uh, Biden's a complete disaster. He's a dumpster fire. But uh, they're they're uh, they're propping him up there. This is what I think about the guy. I think whatever goes wrong, it's Biden's fault. Whatever goes right, it's the Democrats. Uh, you know, their their uh, fault, right? If if you want to call it that, a fault. But whenever it's, something's bad and they got to lay somebody out there to waste, let's say. Um, at the at the end of you know his term, if things are a total disaster, um, they can lay Biden out and they can distance like they are now. The, in the midterms, they're distancing themselves from him, and they are not sure if they want him to be on uh, their voice of their campaign. But whatever it is, I think the guy's you know he he is what he is. He's just a uh, figurehead. He's almost like a cardboard cutout. They shove him out there. They don't let him speak. His wife's always, uh, you know, pulling on him when he's talking too much. And I, I think she's just as, as bad as everyone else because she knows the man's sick. She knows the, the man ha has dementia, but she's just for her own, you know, well-being, for her own arrogance, whatever. She keeps pushing him out there for her own attention Instead of telling them, hey, listen, dude, you got some issues. But the whole family's got a problem. We've seen that the FBI said they, they uh, convicted them two people of stealing her uh, daughter's, uh, is it granddaughter? Diary? and Or is it daughter? Yeah. And so everything in that diary is correct, right? And she says that he took showers with her. At, I'm sure he did more than take showers with her. And she's probably embarrassed to lay him out. And who knows? She gets ticked enough off in the future, or when he's dead, she might uh, put, lay that out there. Who knows? I, I don't. I don't get into the family too much. I, if the guy's a pedophile, you you see how he sniffs little girls, and he's you know they're they're uncomfortable with them. Um, women are uncomfortable around him. His wife doesn't seem to care. Just like Bill Clinton's, his wife doesn't care what he does. They stay together for the power, for the money, for the attention. They don't really care for one another. But um, I think that's the same way with Biden. The, the woman stays with him because she knows that obviously she won't have that attention. She won't have that uh, position that she holds um, without him. So she stays with him. And I think um, whether they're men or women, they stay with their mate because of what they're going to gain from those individuals. And um, so... We know that Biden lied. I mean, here's the document that the judge released. Uh, this was back I, I, in May. I mean, not the judge released, but she uh, had said that he Biden knew about this raid or the the talk about the raid um, from the the FBI and the Justice Department on Trump's pre premises, right? So he knew back in May. A document re was released that said that Biden was aware of what was going on. And uh, so obviously he lied, just like this guy. So we also know back in um, 
what was it, 1999, 98, that this guy also lied. So when when a president lies, you either hold him accountable or you don't. Now, I think things from Nixon's era and even as far as Bill Clinton's era, things have changed because now you you have the right and the left and you have the extreme right and the extreme left. There's no independence anymore. You, if you're an independent journalist and you want to take the side of right and wrong, there's no such thing. Either you get on the side of the left or you get on the side of the right. And they they both have their faults, okay? I don't claim to be on either side. I think uh, I'm a believer, so I stick to that. And I don't, I don't go to the extreme right or the right. I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. But I do believe in the Constitution and the direct effect that it has on our republic. We are not a democracy as Biden states. We are a republic. There's a difference. And I, I think that if you want to go down that, you know, I, I tend to vote um, in the conservative realm because I think that things do not change. Truth does not change. OK, it stays the same. A lie will change all the time, but truth does not. It's solid. OK, so if you if you want to look at conservatism, I don't know. I, I don't like to label myself. I, that's the closest I can come to what I am, which I, I don't I don't re go with the Republicans because you got George Bush who who ultimately lied about weapons of mass destructions, whether he did it because Saddam Hussein wanted to kill his dad. I don't know. But he lied about that just enough to put tens of thousands of American lives and the rest of the world lives um, in danger or they were, you know, set to be killed or whatever you want to look at it. Um, so there's a lot of things out there between Republicans and Democrats that are, are not truthful. And whether a president lies about it or if he doesn't um, could be whether they think, you know, I, I think that there's an old saying, you can tell a lie long enough. And uh, people will start believing it, right? So whether you're going to say, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm on the side of this guy because I'm a heart a rich Democrat or I'm a MAGA or I'm a Republican or, or I'm, you know, far left or far right or abortion rights. I mean, you, you don't vote or you don't stand behind a political party because they're right or wrong. I can I can criticize Biden all I want. And I can criticize Trump all I want. I don't think these are perfect individuals. They're in the position because however they got there, um, they're in that position, right? So um, I look to, you know, a, a higher uh, authority on all this. I don't look to some man changing his ideal. What what was right 20 years ago is not right today. So I would appreciate you guys' comment. What do you think? Did he lie or did he not? Did he know about... Uh, his involvement with the raid on um, Trump's residence. And as far as what they did, I, I think that if it was totally on the up and up, they would have let the Trump's lawyers in there and they would have just gotten there what they needed instead of going through all the whole house looking for information. And whether it's documents, I, I just, to me, what bothers me is that anybody else can do this. Uh, Hillary Clinton can do it, and Biden can do it, and Obama can do it. But when it comes to Trump, they they just, I mean, he could stub his toe and leave some evidence on the sidewalk, and they, you know, they want to arrest him for damage to, you know, public sidewalk. I don't, it just gets kind of ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think. I'd appreciate it. If you guys found value in this video, I'd appreciate you leaving a comment. I would appreciate you sharing this with your friends. And also, if you like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that. It helps build this channel. And uh, give me a like button. Like, hit the like button. Give me a like, and I appreciate that. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next video. Bye now.